Okay, we're back with uh, the last case of aviary attorney. Isn't that right, Chip? Yes, with birds and more words with B that I can't think of. B words are coming up. Uh, so yeah. Birds and beavers and blasphemy. <laughs> Sounds like a David Bowie album. <laughs> <laughs> Um, okay, well, uh, last case coming up, I think. So, uh, we're going to see the, the stunning conclusion of everything. Let's continue. Oh man, oh man. You kicked so much damn air at that impromptu trial yesterday. Those rebels were all like... Like... We're executing this punk mob justice, rah rah rah, but you were all like, like, this isn't how we do things in France, chicken pluckers, and oh. then they were all like, <laughs> oh damn chicken pluckers. Sparrowson, let's get serious for a moment. Serious? You just pulled off the craziest lawyering move in the history of French law, we should be celebrating. We don't have time to pull out the champagne. Didn't you see the anger in those rebels' eyes? Didn't you feel the tension in the air? We're just days away from violence breaking out on the streets. Mm, oh, yeah, I guess another revolution <laughs> might be around the corner. But what exactly can we do? We already told the police everything we know. Unless you're not thinking of arming yourself to the teeth and fighting the rebel forces yourself, are you? What? No! You watched far too many action operas. <laughs> I was thinking of preparing a legal case. Man, action operas. I wish... I... yeah. Sounds amazing. A case for whom? At their core, all historical revolutions center on trials, and nation's rule rulers are tried and held accountable for their crimes. But you saw the horrendous trial that took place last night. Nobody cares about due process when emotions are running high. Regardless of the outcome of the revolution, we need to make sure that everybody has an equal opportunity for justice. That makes sense. So, what's the plan? We head to Quenelle's tavern and hand out some business cards? I like this approach to revolution. Where they're like... <laughs> like lawyers are just getting ready for the revolutionary trials. They're like checking up laws and like, eh, hey, yes, let's see here. Like brushing up. I mean, I mean, Falcon here has a point. It's it's basically the people wanting to to essentially make a trial against the country's leader for all the crimes that he has done. Yeah. Except yeah, no. that the trial usually involves gunpowder and murder. Yeah, because which, the, because the yeah. leader rarely is like, oh sure, I'll come along. All right, <laughs> but I, I sort of like this very pragmatic view on it. <laughs> Think bigger. Who will the rebels target? The king? Exactly. To Palais Royal! So do we do we sue the king or do we defend the king? I don't know. Act I, I guess we are the defendants of these uh, of these things, usually. True, like. true. But aren't we the defendants of the people? I I don't I don't know. I don't what, know. Wasn't that how Falcon called himself? He sure did. Would you say that the king is not a person? Uh, he is not the people. <laughs> he must think he is. I don't know. We're on uh, on on four B at least. We know that much. <laughs> Falcon. I don't know. Falcon and Sparrowson rush to the Palais Royal to arrange a private audience with the king. After filing in in a pile of after filling in a pile of forms, the two are led to a waiting area. <laughs> this looks very prim and proper. Are you here to see the king? Uh, that is right. Uh, okay, take a number and wait to be called. Uh, take a number? Yep, just wait your turn. Huh. Oh god! <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Look at that guy! But more fools who come to see the king, but let me get some lawyers me. 
Um, that is right. Uh, how did you... Hey, I know you. You're the Prime Minister, Monsieur Guizot. Is that like Vulture? Looks like a Vulture, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, wow. Uh, you're right, Sparrison. It's an honor to meet you, Prime Minister. Blech! Spare the formalities. Blech. You two are here to offer the King legal aid, aren't you? Hm. Yep, we're going to offer him assistance for the upcoming rebellion. Blech. Let me give you a word of advice. Blech. Don't bother. Excuse me? The king doesn't take kindly to any form of criticism. He buries his head as far in the sand as uh, that, that one could sway as an ostrich. One would think that seven assassination attempts would be enough to, uh, for a man to learn that he is detested. Uh, with all due respect, Prime Minister, I think the King of France is mature enough not to let his ego get in the way of his senses. Mm, I don't know, Falcon. You think? I don't, I don't know, Falcon. Have you have you seen the King of France? <laughs> so one would think. Twenty four. Uh, that is us. It was a pleasure meeting you, Monsieur. <laughs> Good luck, you little. <laughs> Twenty four. Calling twen number twenty four. <laughs> What's the King doing? He's, he's swaying back and forth. But why? Is, is he drunk? A good day, Your Majesty. Uh, did, did I do the king? Yes. I, I think I did. Good day, messieurs. Can I help you with something? Oh, I probably should have prepared a speech beforehand. Uh, that would have been smart, huh? Just wing it. <laughs> Right. But, um, yeah, we did that before with, <laughs> you know. Right, uh, let's see, how to start. Um... <laughs> Listen up. <laughs> uh, you know, I, I think he would, he would not say this. Falcon is, is not that guy. He would say he's very proper, you know, he's very courteous. He would say, your majesty. Unless you think we should say, Listen up. No. And we get kicked out. Yeah. Your Majesty, what I am about to say is of utmost importance. Please listen closely. Okay, I'm listening. Oh, it's a rocking chair. Oh, okay, there sure. There we go. <laughs> no, it's about to go down. <laughs> no, by the way, it means yeah, shit. shit. Shit's going down, King. Uh, there's a storm on the horizon. I think that's decent. Because a great evil... We don't think the rebels are evil, necessarily. Uh, no, they're just just a bit extreme. Yeah, I mean, uh, Madame Beaumort, who someone said it means beautiful death. <laughs> Madame Death. Uh, she, she, you know, she kind of owed up and said, like, you know, let him free. So she's not evil, I think. She, she just wants change. Yeah. There, there's a there's a storm of change coming. There's a storm coming. Rebels are plotting your downfall, and many believe that a serious uprising is imminent. Imminent, you say? Goodness. We can have full price. Ah. Uh, here I would almost go for the for the first option. For because, this one to really grovel a bit. I mean, you need our help, Sanso, so I mean yeah. We are we are not the best lawyers. We are just lawyers. <laughs> you would say this would be our <laughs> be too strong. I mean it depends on which word you would uh, you would basically build the sentence up. Yeah, what if, if we say we... you need our help, that makes sense, but mm -hmm. Things like, you need our help, or you need our, our help. help. Yeah. That's, that's, I don't know. Yeah, you're feeling this more? I think so. Okay, I, I can agree. We are sure that such a pitiful revolt will blow... Mm. Oh, that, yeah, that has connotations that we couldn't see. That, I don't like that at all. That's, that's dumb. Uh, yeah, 
will blow over no time at all. N nonetheless, we would like to humbly offer our aid as lawyers. We may be of great use to the throne in this troublesome time. That's mean game. Yeah, that's... I don't, Falcon wouldn't say anything like that. It's not a royalist. Mm, I think I understand. You, you do? I understand that you're a pair of con artists attempting to screw a self-made bourgeois out of his hard-earned cash. Uh-huh. I mean, he's not wrong. What what part of self-made, like middle class, does this make you think of? Is it... <laughs> oh, okay, well, mm-hmm. It's not nerve to even imply that my people hate me. I am the citizen king. I am beloved by all. You are a moron, but... You know. Beloved kings tend to experience fewer assassination <laughs> attempts. Damn, Sparrowson! Back! Have these two crooks thrown in jail. Maybe that will teach them a thing or two about respect. Oh, God. Right away, your majesty. You can't be serious. Well, roll credits. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> oh, uh, he was serious. Hmm. Well, this is another fine mess you've gotten me into. <laughs> there is no need for the attitude, Sparrowson. We won't be in here for long. Once we receive a court hearing, the judges will no doubt dismiss our charges instantly. And how long will it take for us to get a court hearing? Tell me that, Monsieur Smarty Pants. Uh, a week or so, I'm guessing? Hmm. I can see why that might be a problem. The re revolution is just around the corner. Uh, what to do? Hmm, what to do? You could try escaping. Oh, don't be ridiculous. Nobody has ever escaped from the conciergerie before. Ah, but nobody has ever locked the genius Sparrowson and his witty lackey Falcon <laughs> in, into the same jail, jail cell before. What of a witty lackey now? It's an absurd suggestion. Got any better ideas? Hmm. Okay, let's break out of prison. Fantastic. Hmm. We have our own alcove. There's a little dent here. One of us could hide. Hide? What would that accomplish? Well, a guard would eventually come in and be like, Where's the other prisoner? And then we use the momentary confusion to push him over and escape. Do you really think an experienced guard will fall for that? Oh, I misclicked. I skipped it, but yes, that's basically what he said, I think. <laughs> Look, Falcon. Loose brick. We could wait for a guard to transfer us someplace, sneak up behind him, and then, and then... And then we get a death sentence for murder. I think not. Let's search a little harder. A ledge. Give me a leg up and I can grab on and shimmy my way over somewhere. Shimmy sideways until there is room, sheep. Let's be honest, Barrison. Neither of us have the physical prowess to shimmy anywhere. That is very difficult to do. On the on the topic of escaping from prison, I I think that I've heard that in, in many countries the act of trying to escape from prison is actually not illegal. Yeah. Because it's based upon the normal human instinct instinct of wanting freedom. Of yeah. course any any illegal acts you use to escape are of course still illegal, yeah. but it's true, it's true. The act itself is not A fireplace. It's been bricked up, so escaping up the chimney isn't an option. There's a bit of scrap metal in this hole. I think it broke off an iron shackle. We could dig through the stone walls with this. See? It's all scratchy. <laughs> that may actually work um, if we had a decade or two. So that's a maybe on this stone digging scheme. Well, I'll keep it in mind in case the king decides to go all Count of Monte Cristo on us. <laughs> uh, uh, that, that looks like that's it. <laughs> mm. Mm. I give up. So soon? Yes. Trying to escape from an 
a notoriously inescapable prison wasn't the smartest plan we've ever devised. Well, well, well. That voice, that condescending tone. It's cock. Cock? Cock. Oh no, it's it's Kukurika. Just what are your two bird brains doing? Severin! Are you alright? Yes, yes, I'm fine. The injuries I sustained were mostly superficial. By the way, his musical theme is amazing. <laughs> the doctor advised me not to do anything strenuous anytime soon, but he gave the all clear for returning to my job. So tell me, why did I get a memo informing me that JJ Falcon and Sparrowson were being held in the conciergerie for treason? It's all Falcon's fault. Naturally. <laughs> hey, hey now. <laughs> you too. <clears throat> I figure that if a revolution is inevitable, then we should do our best to ensure that the uprising proceeds in an organized manner. The less bloodshed, the better. Okay, so what did you do? We offered the king our assistance. We said that we would defend him in court if and when such a need arises. Well, we didn't quite use those words. Just. This isn't the first time the king has had some someone imprisoned for something so pointless. What a pig-headed fool. Consider your charge dropped. Oh, Kokoriko. You you know, you're a good guy. All things considered, I actually like him. All right, let's get out of here. There's going to be a catch, isn't there? <laughs> Maybe. Hold on, you've caught my interest with this idea of yours, a bloodless revolution. We're going to use law. You are absolutely right in that if the king is captured, the citizens will devolve into an unruly mob of animals. Literally. We should prepare for a formal trial. No, we should preempt it. We? You're going to help us? Of course. This isn't a, a task that can be handled by two birds alone. What do you mean by preempt, Severin? We go on the offensive. We charge the king with crimes against the French people before the rebels can even act. Oh, I love this idea! Kokoriko, you're a genius! We can do that? We can certainly try. I'll start building a case against the king. My argument will be focused on the king's gluttonous and irreverent fiscal policies. His lack of commitment to his socio-political promises. His overall ineptitude and irresponsibility on all facets of his duties as a monarchic mon monarchical ruler. And obviously his denial of universal suffrage. Mm -hmm, yes. Obviously. Uh, how am I supposed to defend the king from that? You can't. If you try to argue with logic and facts, this hypothetical trial will inevitably result in a landslide guilty verdict. I, I would be kind of fine with that, I guess. So, I suggest that you take a different approach. Appeal to the king's character. Try to win people's hearts with tales of the beloved citizen king. Hmm, I don't know. He hasn't been called the citizen king for like 10 years. It was just a suggestion. But consider this, you don't need to win the case, you just need to make a strong enough argument that the trial is fair. All that remains is ensuring that the king can be, can be peacefully brought to the courthouse when the protests start to turn violent. That's a job for the police and royal guard. I'll inform Inspector Volerti of our plan so that he can prepare accordingly. At least I would if I could find him. Oh? Inspector Volerti is missing? Apparently, he's taken an informal leave of absence since Wednesday. Hmm, that's pretty suspicious. Hold on, Falcon. One thing eludes me. As you probably figured, Inspector Volati had me perform an investigation into your past. He thought you were the Viridian Killer, crazy as it sounds. And, well, I'm sorry for doing that. It was quite invasive of me, but I can't help but wonder... Why did you change your name around 1830? Oh, it's a dark past. And why was your name the Viridian Killer? That's an mm -hmm. odd name. <laughs> because 
I had a family name to live up to. My grandfather was something of a successful lawyer. So, when I turned up to my classes at law school, people would gawp at me. They would say, wow, you have a big shoes to fill, and your grandfather would be proud. But I was a terrible law student, mediocre at best. I knew that, deep down, I would never be half the man my grandfather was. Fascinating. I had no idea. Who was your grandfather, if you don't mind me asking, Falcon? <laughs> see, I see it. Oh. It doesn't matter. At the end of the day, he was just another over, overly opinionated rebel who died in the old revolution. I see. Let's not dilly-dally any longer. We have duties to carry out. It was like a Robespierre or something. What is was his grandfather? <laughs> right. We're going to find anecdotes and we're going to defend the king, whether he likes it or not. <laughs> Sounds like a good case built on anecdotes. All right. Well. We need anecdotes hmm. about the king, apparently. Yeah. Anecdotes about the king being lovely. Um... I kind of want to lose this case, you know? I don't really want to... <laughs> it, well, we have to give it an honest yes, try. Yes, yes, we do. We do. We, we need to give it an honest try so we can say that the trial is honest. We can't... We can... You're completely right, Chief. We cannot lay down here. <laughs> we must do our best. I mean, if we intentionally did a bad job, then that would essentially make the entire trial pointless. It's true. It is absolutely true. Um, let's, oh, that's the market, right? Let's see. The market, uh, the, uh, the bridge where the fisher dude is sitting, the library, the high court, uh, Tavern. the guard, of course, or, or the fox friend. Fox Wolf, friend. Wolf? Fox? Maybe, maybe we can hire him to find stories for us. I don't know. How long did we have? It didn't say. Uh, I don't think it said. Not that long, probably, because revolution. I think it might be worth... Uh, I was starting at the tavern or the market, maybe? To, like, ask around and, hey, what do you think about the king? We can go to the tavern. It has served us well in the past. <clears throat> it was mostly filled with revolutionaries. Oh, that's true, that's true. Ah, uh, just the dodo I wanted to see. So she is a dodo. She is. <laughs> Madame <I> Cornell. <laughs> Quick question. Have you ever served the King of France? <laughs> oh, good one, honey. That is hilarious. <laughs> Me serving the king. <laughs> Would you like some wine, your majesty? <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to serve the king of Denmark. Ha <laughs> I think that was a no. And I think you might be right. Well then. You might have made a mistake coming here. Oh, maybe not. Inspector Volerity. Oh. Uh-oh. Uh, hello, Inspector. I think you might be drunk. Yes. Uh, I did him as well, yep. didn't I? Falcon! JJ Falcav! Yep. Yeah? I think I... I think I made a mistake. I'll say, do I see two empty bottles of Russian <laughs> vodka? It's a mystery how you're still standing. No, listen. This, this is important. <laughs> Inspector, maybe we should have this conversation when you're a little more sober. No, no, Falcon, listen. Falcon, I, I thought, I thought you were the value king. The what? <laughs> the revolution killer. The, the man who injured me in the, in the Jumai revolution. You thought I was the Viridian killer. How did you even come to that conclusion? 
I saw that that you changed your name around eight, 1830 and I, I ended uh, You made an assumption. Wait, is that why you gave Severin a tip off? Were you trying to lure the animal out of me or something? I'm sorry, Falcon. It was a mistake. Do you forgive me? <laughs> yes. Yes, I forgive Valerity. He's not going to remember your answer anyway. No, he probably isn't. Yeah, sure. I forgive you for assuming that I am a mass murderer and then for nearly killing me and Severin in order to prove it. <laughs> oh, Fenio! Fenio Falcon! Now listen closely, Inspector, because I have a favor to ask you. A favor? For you, JJ! Anything! <laughs> Maybe we should wait until the Inspector is a little more coherent. No! I want to help. I must. I must pay my debt. Excellent. So, Severin and I are planning a case. A very big case against the King of France. We intend on trying him uh, before the rebels can get their hands on him. When the rebe rebellion starts, we would like to you to bring the King to the courthouse. Do you think you can do that? Inspector? Treason? You are sympathizers to the rebel cause. This isn't treason, Inspector. We're ensuring the safest outcome to an inevitable revolution. You are tre you are treason. You are treason. You are scum. Told you incoherent. Yeah, I guess you were right, Sparrison. Well, Inspector, maybe you should contact us uh, if you change your mind and once you've sobered up. Hmm. Just gonna check in here, but it's just the gamblers, I'm guessing. Yeah. Big uh, not today. Rufus. Yeah. No, thank you. Also, apparently, the inventor dude that we ran across was uh, he was an actual guy in France, oh. and he did invent that thing. Oh. And uh, he also invented. Uh, oh, and was it he invented something else? I completed blanking out now. Damn it! You no, know, if he was an inventor, I'm sure he in invented many things. He did. He did. It was like quite something. Uh, well. Well, this wasn't entirely for nothing, I guess. I suppose not. Let's go. Uh, well, I, I don't think the market will be too useful. The library might be good if we are looking for anecdotes. Maybe. I don't know, that, that horse dude or lady, I'm not sure what that is, actually. <laughs> Uh, I, think, I think it's it should be a horse. It's probably a horse. Yeah, but I don't know if it's a lady horse or a, or a man horse. Anyway. <laughs> Important question. <laughs> later. Yeah, I've, I've looked at that portrait a lot and I'm like, I cannot for the life of me. You know? Uh, mm. Maybe the... I don't know. That, that's the, the bridge, isn't it? Not the... Not the yeah, that would be... The kingfisher dude, I guess. Does he what? love the king? What would he know? What would he know? I would really suggest the, the library. Okay. Sure, I'm willing to go with the library. <laughs> On your head be it, sheep. <laughs> the hidden library. Okay, here we go. Nathan uh, never lets us down with useful information. I'm sure he's got, oh, I say he, he's got something interesting and pleasant to say about the king. I... Mm, That's one question answered. Uh, did I do him? Yes. <laughs> oh, it's you, messieurs. Perhaps you will surprise me today and ask, actually ask to take out a book. <laughs> nope, just the usual today. An endless stream of questions. 
You too need an encyclopedia. Well, go on then. Ask whatever drivel you want to ask. Mm, have you ever Just, met the king? Uh, sure. Have you ever met King Louis Philippe? I have. As a matter of, matter of fact, he occasionally drops by this library to check out books. Oh. Unlike <laughs> some people. <laughs> what sort of books does he check out, monsieur? Thick books. I believe the last one he checked out was an expensive history of the Macedonian Empire. Oh. I have no idea that His Majesty was interested in academic history. I'll make a note. King Louis Philippe is a well-read and intelligent man. Penguin. Who knows? Bird. Yes, who do know, actually. It must be said that the books are usually returned with footprints on the covers. Oh. Oh. This leads me to believe that the king may just use them to stand on during speeches. Oh. Oh. Uh, we'll just leave that part out. <laughs> Nathan's story. Okay. Was there anything else? Might as well ask this guy, uh, I suppose. Yeah, I might as well. I mean, he isn't, but... From your well-educated standpoint, is King Louis-Philippe a good leader, as far as leaders go? Well, I can't fault the king's pro-business spirit. The big industry leaders love him. Oh, this sounds promising. Of course, this comes at the expense of everyone who isn't a bourgeois. The wealth divide is stronger than ever. No. Maybe not. Can forget about social and progressive policies. The king signs off on all of Guizot's backward, backward thinking policies. And of course, in terms of leadership and charisma, the king is about as personable as a rotten pear. Um. That will do, monsieur. A, simply, a simple no would have sufficed. That is all. That'll be all. Uh, thank you for your time and patience, monsieur. Uh, mm, I look forward to your next round of idiotic questions. I think he likes us. Hmm. I really do. Oh, oh, Nate. Nate See, uh, I told you. Oh, he's lonely. <laughs> he is. Oh, that's adorable. <laughs> uh, well, uh, we're gonna stop this episode here and uh, join us in the next one.